teach nature right in class every couple of years and I get students up at three o'clock and take them out to Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge to watch the first light develop and the sun come up. And the purpose, uh, other than to shake them up a little bit, is I want them to write about sunrise, which isn't sunrise at all because it's really the earth spinning into the sun. The sun is moving. And we read a really good essay by a Virginia Tech professor, Eileen Crisp, called Ptolemaic Environmentalist. And she tells the story of how for uh, about a millennia and a half, we believe in the astronomer Ptolemy's hypothesis that everything revolved around the earth. And as the centuries went on, and the astronomical observations just didn't add up, it got harder and harder to accept Ptolemy's theory, but it was such dogma that you, know, you could get trouble, not just academic trouble, like your head cut off if you questioned the Earth as the center. But then Copernicus came along about 400 years ago, and, and now we know, even though we still say sunrise, and I don't have a problem with saying sunrise, I don't think earth fall or earth spin sounds as good. Uh, we know that it's not all spinning around the earth. But then Eileen goes on and says, environmentally though, we still pretty much act as if everything revolves around humans. It's the anthropocentric versus ecocentric argument. Uh, and you know, she's made me think. She asked me once, she said, you know, Maryland and a lot of other states have departments of natural resources. I said, yeah. I said, what's wrong with that? She said, what if they called them departments of nature? I said, huh, that'd be different, wouldn't it? You know, yeah, we see everything as a resource to be managed, managed for whom. And it is true, it, it drives me wild when I see articles, even in some otherwise pretty good magazines like National Geographic, talking about sustainability in terms of how many people can we feed. Well, we can feed 50 billion people if we want to just eat algae skimmed off big ponds and bulldoze all the forests. I mean, we might bring ourselves to ruin through some other consequence of that, but what a stupid way to look at sustainability, you know, as if nothing else on Earth mattered. And I realize, you know, humans are going to be served, but, uh, I think I leans on to something. I think I think what we long ago stopped doing astronomically, we still are guilty of ecologically.